patching the library, fixtures, and devices. There are four sub-items in the menu under fixtures. Load library downloads the latest fixture library. This requires an existing internet connection. With create fixture, you can create your own fixtures that are not yet in the library. To do this, press the plus in the top right corner. You can enter the brand under brand and the model name under fixture. The number of DMX channels occupied by the device is entered under total channels. All the information you need to patch the spotlight can be found in the relevant DMX protocol or in the device manual. Under the brand, fixture name and channels display. The app now offers all the functions that Light Captain can display. Next, check the DMX protocol of the spotlight to see which function is on channel 1. Assign this function to the first channel of the Light Captain using the button at the front. Continue in the same way with the second channel and so on. The app automatically assigns the correct sequence. If a channel is to be omitted, select the function and then change the specified channel manually. For most functions, you can specify a from to value and a default value. From to values are initially filled in automatically with 0 to 255. That means the largest possible function range of a DMX channel. If you want to create a function with fewer values, you can change these values. Example, if two functions are to be located on the same channel, they can share the value range. Let's assume we want to control a prism and the frost filter both on the same channel. For example, we set the values 0 to 128 for the prism and manually assign the same channel for the frost filter function, but set the values 129 to 255 here. The default value is automatically set to 0, but you can also enter a different default value here. This can make sense for certain spotlights that need a certain value on a channel in order to work at all. In the operating view of the app, you therefore have the option of setting all values to either 0 or the default value when programming. Light Captain offers the following functions. Main Colors, Section A. The app can control up to four segments per fixture. For example, a KLS bar with four individual spots or an LED strip with four lenses. Each individual segment can be controlled in terms of color, dimmer, and shutter function. Main Colors, Section A, now designates the first of four segments, or alternatively, the entire fixture, if it consists of just one segment, such as a par spot. Up to eight colors can be entered in the color control. The last option with the designation FC stands for free color. Colors that are not available for selection as standard can be entered here. Each segment has its own dimmer and shutter function. This should only be entered if the device also provides a dimmer and shutter function for this segment. If there is only one dimmer and shutter on the device that affects all segments simultaneously, then this must be entered under main dimmer or main shutter. These functions are located below the color settings. The option to assign a color wheel can also be found in the same area. If you press the color wheel button, a view with 20 colored fields opens. These colors can now be assigned to the positions of the color wheel. For example, if the color red occupies the values 20 to 30 for the selected spotlight, it is best to enter the average value here, so 25. An exception is the value 0, which usually corresponds to white on the color wheel. Even if, for example, 0 to 10 is provided here, only 0 should be entered. With the help of these color fields, you can quickly and easily call up colors on the color wheel during operation and conveniently use spotlights with color wheel and with color mixing together. The colors marked with an asterisk are the main colors. These should always be set. If a spotlight can only produce one shade of a color, for example, only one shade of green, this value can also be assigned to all other shades of green. As a result, the spotlight will always produce its green, regardless of which green is required. The movement functions include two functions, each for pan and tilt, a normal and a fine function. For modern moving heads with 16-bit control, the fine channels can be entered here in addition to the normal values for pan and tilt control. If, on the other hand, the spotlight only has one channel per movement axis, simply deselect the function for the fine channels. Under Optical, you will find the functions for two gobo wheels, Focus, Prism and Prism Rotation, 
zoom, and frost filter. You can also enter individual values for the gobos here so that you can call them up again directly later. If the spotlight you want to control has functions that are not shown in the light captain, you can create them in the free patch section. Eight additional slots are available for this. For each of these functions, you can use the dimmer active button to specify whether it should react to the dimmer or not. The reset, lamp on and lamp off functions can be selected at the end of the function list. The reset function can be used, for example, to trigger a reset for moving heads. This means that the moving head tests all its mechanical functions before returning to its starting position. The lamp on and lamp off functions are required for discharge lamps. These must be ignited a few minutes before use and operated for a few minutes after use with the light source extinguished to cool down before they are disconnected from the power supply. The values for activation can be entered here. Important. After entering all the necessary values, you must confirm the entries by pressing the Save button. You can then navigate back to the overview using the arrow button at the top left. You should now be able to see all the spotlights you have created in this list. If you want to change an individual spotlight again, click on its name to return to the settings. To delete a device, drag the relevant line to the left. A Delete button appears. Press Delete to delete the fixture. Patch Fixtures. In this area, you can create the fixtures that are to be controlled in a show. By pressing the plus in the top right-hand corner, you can select all the fixtures that are available in the library or that you have already created yourself. Under the magnifying glass symbol, you will find the search function, which you can use to search for devices. To select a specific device, tap on the name. More detailed information about the spotlight appears and the next available start address is suggested. If you press on the Start Address field, a selection menu appears in which all free addresses are displayed. In the Number field, you can enter how many devices of the same type are to be used. The start addresses of these devices are then assigned consecutively. Press Save to save all settings and return to the list view. All other fixtures are created in the same way. You can then exit this menu by clicking on Fixtures at the top left. Two more clicks at the top take you back to the main view, where all the fixtures created are now also displayed on the left-hand side. Export Fixtures Fixtures you have created yourself can be exported using the Export Fixtures function and sent by email. To import the fixtures on the recipient device, the full version of Light Captain must be installed on both devices. The app must be running in the background when the mail attachment is opened. In this way, the fixtures are transferred to the new device 